Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. Today I'm gonna review the Restring Zero string. The company is called Restring. I had a visit a few weeks ago from Juan, who is one of the founders. Fellow tennis nerds, today I'm here with one of the founders. You're two guys, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Juan, right? From Restring. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Restring, uh, it's a pretty hyped up brand, so I'm really curious to try it. Uh, tell me a bit about the story about the, behind the brand. How did you come up with this idea? It's like two, three years old, right? Yeah, so Restring originally started in 2020. That's when we thought about the idea of wanting to create a, a tennis brand of you know tennis strings of the highest performance, but also giving back in a way. So after two years of research around the string, that's when we launched our very first one last year in October called Zero. So that's our flagship string. It's got three main qualities. The first one is the spin potential. Yep. The second one is the, the durability. And the third one is the, the snapback. So those are the key three things that um, we, we look for in a string and, and that's what we've done with Zero. Cool. And you're a college player, ex-college player yourself. Right? Ex-college player, I played for a few years uh, and then now semi-retired. <laughs> semi-retired, yeah, yeah. But of, of course, then you can move and you know share your love for tennis in this way instead of like creating products. 100%, staying involved in the tennis world and, and trying to give back. Uh, I've made you know my greatest connections through, through tennis. Yeah. So, you know, doing this string is, is a way of getting back into the world and, and giving back as well. Cool, that's really good. So I've strung it up in two different rackets, uh, one extreme core with the 1.23 gauge, so you have two <laughs> gauges. Yep. Uh, this I strung 53 pounds, which is kind of my uh, sweet spot tension. This one 55 pounds, this 128 gauge, so it's a little bit more of a lively racket, so it's gonna have a bit more, more pop and a bit more action to it. So um, we'll give them a go and we'll see how, how they play. Should be excited, I'm looking nice forward to it. Man. Seems like a passion project, these guys are two tennis players and pretty high level tennis players and they really went into this uh, wholeheartedly it seems. The reason I mention that is because I, I see a lot of these kind of string brands that are pretty much just like a repackaged string that's already exists. There's no research and development, it's just like putting your label on a string that's already there. Not a huge fan of that. I understand that's a way to make money and whatever, but it's not really why I am doing what I'm doing. But Restring interested me partly because they've got so much uh, good feedback about their string. They only have one string so far. There is a string in progress. They're working on a round string, I think. And uh, this one comes in one color, which is this bright blue. And it has two gauges. So 123 and 128 gauge. 128, the thicker the gauge, you get a bit better durability, obviously, a bit better control technically, while the thinner gauge gives you a bit better comfort and a little bit more power on your shots. That's usually what you see with the different gauges. Depends on how you play and what you like and so on. And this is a polyester string, so it's not for beginners, in my opinion. It's not for lower level intermediates either, but intermediate players that hit with a low spin and want to maximize spin potential up to the pro level can use this string. It's six-sided, hexagonal if you want to sound fancy. I played with one of the founders, Juan, uh, on these courts. Very good player, hits big. We tried it in a few different rackets. Tried it in the Head Extreme Tour, in the Wablat Pure Aero, rough edition, the lighter one, which is here. Uh, I thought they would look really good together. And some, some people are picky with how the string looks in a racket. I'm not, but when I'm reviewing something, it's obviously uh, better if they kind of have some matching and as you can see here this color and this color works really well together and uh, in this one yeah i used 128 strung it a bit tighter 55 pounds in the other ones i went went 51 pounds and 153 pounds i also had it in the radical mp it's kind of what i'm using mostly these days the oxetic radical mp a racket i really like and for me uh, being a player who sometimes maybe hits a bit too flat who so should maybe use a bit more acceleration on some strokes, uh, I find it to be a bit lively in the Extreme Tour and in this racket. It is not a um, stiff string in terms of uh, the category of strings it's in, like a six-sided polyester. It's a very nice sound, very nice sensation and impact, good playability in this string, no question about it. It's also lubricated to increase the snapback, so when you hit the ball, the strings bend and then snap back into place, creating that spin. You don't see that with gut and multifilament strings, uh, but you see that with polyesters and some companies uh, use some kind of lubrication on the string to make it snap back even more. RPM Blast is one example. Yonex Polytour Rev is another example. And that string plays a little bit similar to this. I would say this is a kind of Yonex Polytour Pro, Polytour Rev type of string, softer, still gives you good bite, some control 
and uh, it's kind of in that category. It's softer than Headlink Store and Solinco Hyper-G, but it's better in tension maintenance, I would say, than Hyper-G Soft, for example, or Vocal Cyclone Tour, which are softer strings that dip a bit faster in tension maintenance. Uh, Lynx Tour Champagne is a string I really like, but it's a bit firm in a full bed at a higher tension. This one is softer than that, so you don't get quite the same control with, as with the Lynx Tour, but you get a softer feeling. So if kind of six-sided polyesters are strings you like, if you're a Hyper-G fan, but you want something in between Hyper-G Soft and Hyper-G, this string comes in play here, uh, along with Yonex Polytor Pro and so on. I find it to be a very good string. It's a little bit lively for me. I would use it in a little bit of a denser string pattern, perhaps, like an 1820. I think this string could really create a bit more power and livelier feel. When you use firmer polyester strings, you always have to think about the arm. And I think this is where this string actually does a great job because I didn't feel any issues at all with arm problems. I've had other players try it. They've all liked it. Uh, the consensus is that it's a little bit of a lively string. So there, there is some power and some, um, some action in the string bed. The ball goes. And whether you like that or not, it's up to you. There's so many good strings on the market, but this one is definitely one of the better strings I tried recently. And I've tried some strings that have been so-so in recent years, and this one actually delivers on the promise. And I think the feedback on their website and the reviews seem um, aligned pretty well with what I think about the string. Tension maintenance was very good, but it was pretty lively from the first hit. Not as Hyper-G Soft or Cyclone Tour or these type of, of softer polyester string, more in the middle there. So if you want to have a spin-friendly polyester that doesn't break your arm and uh, holds tension well, I think the Restring Zero is a string to check out. Thumbs up for me, really like this string. Might not be what I use in matches in the end, but uh, I do understand the the whole concept and I do like how it plays and it holds tension. That's it for this review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, um, you can reach out to me. I'm trying my best to reply to as many people as I can. It's tough. Uh, there's so much going on on Instagram, on Facebook comments, YouTube comments and so on, but I'm trying my best. I think the best way to reach me really is to join Patreon and there's a seven day free trial. Now you can test it and see if there's content there that gives you any extra value or if you just want to support me with a few bucks a month. Uh, but there you can actually have a chat function so you can reach me easier and I prioritize the, the paying members, which I have to, of course. Uh, so yeah, excellent string from, from Restring. Check it out if that's what you're into. There will be more reviews coming up. I hope you have a nice day now and don't forget to play some tennis.